NOAA IS PREDICTING ANOTHER VERY ACTIVE HURRICANE SEASON. HERE'S DAVIS NOLAN TO BREAK IT ALL DOWN FOR US. DAVIS. YEAH, WELL, NOAA IS ACTUALLY FORECASTING A 60% CHANCE OF AN ABOVE NORMAL SEASON. and. They're looking at very warm ocean water temperatures out in the Atlantic and also very weak wind shear. When you have an El Nino, that'll tend to shear a lot of the storms apart when they try to grow. That's not out there this time. And also they're looking at something called the West African Monsoon that's usually a little further south. It's going to come further north. And when those tropical waves of low pressure leave the African coastline and head west down in the Easterlies, they can tend to get stronger and wetter and can tend to uh, develop stronger storms as they move on towards the west. So they're forecasting 13 to 19 named storms. That would mean a tropical storm of 30, 39 miles an hour or higher. And the average is 14, so that's fairly well above normal. And hurricanes are forecasting 6 to 10, the average is 7. And Three to five of them may be major hurricanes, and normally that would be only three major hurricanes. Now, hurricane names are going to start with Andrea and end with Wendy. What a name for a hurricane. Now, if you're wondering, what are we talking about hurricanes when we're here in Tennessee? We're not on the coastline. Do you remember Helene? People in East Tennessee sure remember Helene. 18 people died over in East Tennessee, and that's just Tennessee. North Carolina was impacted terribly by this storm with just severe flooding. Of course, I-40 was taken out along with I-26 by this storm for a while, and it was one of the worst floods to ever occur in East Tennessee and western parts of North Carolina. And that could have happened right here in Middle Tennessee. So keep that in mind. Back in 1979, Hurricane Frederick came ashore in Mobile, Alabama, came right up I-65 and gave record rainfall at the time. That record only broken by the 2010 flood caused severe flooding in the Antioch area along Mill Creek. So hurricanes, the remnants of them can affect us with severe flooding and also sometimes tornadoes. Back to you.